Hello and welcome to Pep Cloud. Today I'm going to talk about going in and working on your production rates. So I go into company settings and I click production rates. Now there are already some production rates in the program. As you see here it's clapboard siting and it has a lock on it which means that it's in there and you can't do anything about it. If you want to use it you can click on and see that clapboard siting rough. If you were to brush it you would have to be able to paint 68 square feet in the first coat 102 on a second and 122 on additional coats and this is square foot per hour. Clapboard siding, beveled or shiplap, brush 76 square feet in the first, 115 on the second, 138 on the third. If you spray them you'll see there's different production rates. So anything that has a lock on it in the program is a production rate that probably came with the program and you cannot alter it but you certainly could use it. Any production rate that is in here that does not have a lock on it is a rate that was put in by somebody else, most likely the owner of the program. Like this spray rate on pressure washing tells me that on the first coat I should do 187 square feet. If I were to use a rate in here for wood shingles and uh, say I'm, I'm redoing a roof and I want to spray it, the shingles, a preservative on the shingles. If I spray it, it would be 122 square foot per hour. And if I rolled it, it would be 205 the first coat, 305 the second coat for a double application. So let me show you how to add your own rate categories. If you go up to the top here and you click on this plus button after rate categories, that will give you the option to name your category. So say I'm going to name it siding. So I name my category siding for multiple kinds of siding. Then I go in and I create a particular kind of siding like clapboard. So I type the name of the siding in and I click done and then I go down here for a method and let's say I'm going to paint this clapboard siding by spray. So I type in spray. Now I'm, going to, I'm going to charge by the square foot and let's say that I can spray 400 square foot for the first coat per hour and on the second coat I can spray 600 square foot. And if I was doing a third coat, I could spray 800 square foot. Now I'm not telling you that these are the square footages you should be able to do. I am merely showing you how to add your own square footage in here. So let's say I want to change the method and let's say I'm, I'm painting siding and I'm brushing it. So I add in brush and Again, I tell it how many square feet. Maybe I could paint 200 square foot on the first coat per hour and 300 on the square foot for the second coat and maybe 350 for the third coat. So this just gives you an idea how to add in your own square footages for your own formulas into this program to customize the program to fit your needs. Now if I was, say I'm painting an item that maybe like uh, doors or windows, I could go in here to windows and I've already created a program or a, a category of windows and I have like a three light prime window so here I'm charging by each. So if I'm brushing it I can paint three on the first coat per hour and if I'm doing two coats I could paint three for the second coat per hour. If I'm doing a six over six window, it's possible that if I'm brushing it, I can't even paint one per hour. It takes me more time than an hour. But if I'm doing two coats, I could actually paint a little more than one and a half per hour and additional coats a little more than three per hour each. So it gives you an idea how to add production rates into the program. Now you can use square foot, linear foot items per hour. You could bid them just about any way you want to. You just need to fill out the form. So again, quick review. Name it after you've named the item. 
whatever name you want to give it then go in and create a rate which would be describing the item the particular kind of item and then go in and create a method which would be brush spray or roll and tell it at the first step or first coat how many can you get done how many square foot uh, how many square feet how many items however you want to label it so um, whether it's you know a hundred for the first coat 150 for the second or uh, 200 for the third whatever it is whatever your formula happens to be this is how you're going to put it in click done and it will always be in there this is as, it's as easy as this if you have any questions by all means you can email us from our website this is very easy to do just give it a try and you'll see how easy it is the best of luck in your estimating visit our website www.paintestimating.com and this is pep in the cloud